What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are in the Dominican Republic We finally made it after a long time in the Bahamas and we actually are in a house We are back in land because we couldn't anchor our boat in Cabarete Our boat had to be anchored in Luperon which is near Puerto Plata We are in Luperon and we are leaving our boat. We are leaving Hakuna because we will be going for a couple of days to Cabarete and because there is not an anchorage there where we can stay and we want to kite surf as much as we can that's why we found a dock and we will be leaving the boat docked here for the next few days we will be taking our kite gear we will be taking the docks we will be taking the scooters and someone's coming to pick us up in a few minutes <laughs> to come back to Cabarete which we hadn't been here in four years this is where we learned how to kiteboard and so we just want to take advantage hopefully get some wind and hopefully kiteboard a little bit for now we rented a house my parents are here they came to visit us and we're gonna be spending the next couple of days maybe a week or so here come along. so it's a really nice super cozy house we brought the scooters we are moving around with our little scooters they take us everywhere Renting this house is just so that we can explore as much as we can, see the best places of the Dominican Republic, and obviously take you guys with us. Let me show you the nice pool, the backyard area, super nice. We have a nice pool, we have a nice jacuzzi, nice backyard for the dogs. Take you with us to get some Dominican culture with us and see the best of this place. So we made it to Kite Beach and baby, what are we gonna do? Andrea's gonna take trapeze. Classes. You don't wanna do it? No. Why? I'm scared of heights. <laughs> it looks really scary, it looks very overwhelming, but we're here. We have to try it. Check this out. Andrea is gonna take the class. She's so ready. <laughs> this is so nerve wracking and so scary. Oh my god. They're gonna make me drop too. He just said that. Like, yeah. you literally jump up and like drop. And I'll see how it goes. And then, if I wanna try it, I'll just try it. We'll see. Legs up, knees. Second swing, hands off. 
right away, hands off. <laughs> Leave your hands still, you're gonna grab, you grab him back, and he's gonna say legs off. So you're gonna take the legs off the ball, oh, and you're gonna take goodness. a swing with him, okay? Are you so make me? sure... Oh. Good, like... <laughs> okay, good thing you go first, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. Are you worried about your home, your boat? Yes, we left Hakuna in Luperon. Uh, we got a private dock with uh, someone that's really nice. They had a private house with a dock and they rented out the dock for us. Someone's looking out for the, for the boat every single day. So I send them messages, I call them and yeah. Are you harassing this guy? <laughs> yes, we're totally harassing the guy. But yeah, no, he's super nice and he's taking care of the boat. While we left the boat, I took off the main sail, we left it to repair, and yeah, so we're just gonna enjoy. Dije, yo soy Oso, Osi Gilberto. Usted es Osi Gilberto Palacio, ¿sí o no? Dominican style. I can also go for the Viking style. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Today we are going to be. We have been learning how to foil here. Alejo was learning this morning how to foil, and I was trying to learn how to use the kite foil. And so we might take some classes tomorrow, but I also want to learn how to do freestyle, which is what the pros here do. And we might get to talk to them in a little bit. They are pro kiteboarders, uh, Valentin Rodriguez. He's a Colombian kiteboarder. He actually won the world championship of kiteboarding in freestyle in 2019. And Aleuri, who is from the Dominican Republic, he won the championship in 2018. Both world champions are right here today in Caorete. So we might get to talk to them a little bit. There's a lot of people who inspired me to become what I am now. I want to be like them and I was I was still in school, I couldn't kite in, in, only in the weekends and I said if I want to be a professional kite surfer I must kite every day like them and train like them. Normally I got started when I first saw my brother in 2007 on the World Tour but he came here down to Cabarete. The sacrifice from, from being world champion is like people don't see also all the training because people only see Instagram and social media like like it's everything, you know, posting videos, like working out and stuff, like I like to do my things quietly and that's what people don't see when you crash hard, you almost break your knees or you, you have a lot of pain in your body but you're still getting up, still kiting every day. You just have to try it, you have to try it, even if you lose, doesn't matter because you're getting experience. 
if I lose or something, I'm still having fun and I'm still enjoying life. So with that mindset, I think I can even compete way better and more relaxed because I know I'm, I'm doing what I love. And you know, you don't have to go to 50, to 70%. You have to go 100 or 120. That's the most important thing. So when you feel you're coming back down, stop, think, and let everything and come back with this motivation. You're gonna come even stronger. Well, a new generation is coming with a better mentality and better tricks as well because today we are not in the old school, we are in the new school. The kind of sport, I like it. I want, when I pick, a champion. And your dream is to be a professional kiteboarder? I like it. Yeah? You want to be a champion? Yeah. In what? In what? Freestyle or big air? Freestyle. Freestyle? I like freestyle when I... Oh! And who's your favorite rider? Um, Valentin. Valentin is your favorite rider? Yeah. If you're wondering what it's like to be in the Dominican Republic during COVID, some countries require a PCR for us. We came, as you know, by sailboat. Uh, we arrived through Puerto Plata and we were not required. We came from the Bahamas and we were not required to have a PCR test. My parents, they came here to visit us and on the way back to the US, they are required to have a PCR test, so they do have to get that done. You can tell that people here are very laid back. There's a lockdown after 12 a.m. We miss being here in Cabarete. The progress, if you guys are interested in learning how to kiteboard, this is the spot because the progress that you can do by staying here every single day, maybe staying two or three weeks here in Cabaret and just kiting every single day because the wind is really, really good most of the time, especially if you come from June to September and learning here is extremely, extremely cheap compared to countries like the US or I don't know, other countries. So this is the spot guys. We are in the kiteboarding mecca of the entire Caribbean. We're not 